I make a motion to open the meeting. Is there a second? A second. Roll call. Yep. Trustee Stutzer. Aye. Trustee Lightgood. Aye. Trustee Keating. Aye. Trustee Lamphere. Lamphere, aye. Mayor Plummer. Aye. Motion passed. Okay, is there any board member that has a potential conflict with the uh, agenda items before us this evening? I do not. I do not. I do not. I do not. And I do not. Uh, Dorothea, would you uh, please read the conflict of interest, uh, the disclosure and open meeting compliance certification? Sure. Okay, the public will have opportunities to comment on specific agenda items when they occur in the meeting and also on general matters at the end of the meeting. Speakers can comment once in each comment window if it is on a specific agenda item. It is not a debate, a deposition, or a panel discussion. Speakers, this doesn't apply tonight. Let's see here. If an attendee is participating via web conference technology such as Zoom, the clerk will announce how attendees should signal they wish to comment. This is any different by platform, but it's typically accomplished through raise, raise hand feature, and that is what we are using this evening. I please ask that you raise your hand. If you wish for me to ask the board the question, please put it in the Q&A. I do not check the chat feature. Speakers must give their name, address, and organization. There shall be an exemption for a category of people protected by New York State law. Speakers must be recognized by the presiding officer. Speakers must limit their remarks to three minutes on any given topic. Mm -hmm. Speakers may not yield any remaining time they may have to another speaker. Board members may, with the permission of the mayor, only interrupt a speaker during the remarks for the purpose of clarification or information. Speakers must observe the commonly accepted rules of courtesy, decorum, dignity, and good taste. Interested parties or their representatives may address the board by written communications to the village clerk at villageofpittsford.com. All written communications will become part of the public record and will be attached to the minutes for that meeting. At the sender's request, written communications will be read aloud by the clerk at the meeting and will adhere to the three minute time limit. If printed materials or other media are provided by attendees during the meeting, they must be submitted to the village board with optional distribution to audience members. All materials will be a part of the public record. Private distri distribution of materials to audience members only is prohibited. Thank you. Thank you. We really need to tape that. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot there, isn't there? Um, okay, with the uh, first meeting, uh, meeting mm -hmm. item, and the only one actually, is the Midland contract um, Zach, I know, you know, there's a, a time constraint with this and we need to kind of uh, have the board take a look at this and address it. If you could, you know, just fill us in, please. Sure. So leading up to about 10 a.m. yesterday, I was under the influence that we were going to be chip sealing uh, Lincoln and Washington uh, later on this month or possibly early into July. Um, but yesterday morning at 10 a.m., I was notified that it's uh, a go for next week. And we're uh, piggybacking off of the town and their work and the town's gonna be helping us out hauling. The contractor's gonna be in town Monday through Thursday. So um, at the tail end of when the town is wrapping up their uh, chip sealing project, um, they're gonna be helping us out with ours. So um, <clears throat> it's kind of short notice, but the timing is good because we did have a meeting scheduled for tonight. So I um, made some adjustments per the contractor uh, for the pricing that was originally quoted to me back in April. Um, I don't know if you guys have had a moment to take a look at that yet. Mm -hmm. So just in the last two months, the cost per gallon for the emulsion, which is the oil that is put down on the road before the stone goes down, went up uh, from $3.89 uh, $3 to $4.25. So the $11,064 that was originally quoted for the oil aspect of it, um, went up a thousand dollars to twelve thousand eighty seven. The stone is going to be off of county contract, which is consistent from what I had uh, proposed back during uh, the budget process, um, which is eighteen dollars and fifty cents a ton. Um, so that stays the same, but the grand total for everything, um, minus the roller rental, which should be um, for a half a day rental, I'm pretty sure around one hundred and fifty dollars is $13,844.50. Okay. 
And just just to go along with that, so you guys have an idea of what uh what kind of changes have been uh, happening this year in the price of everything. Um, the price index for uh, asphalt binder. Um, in April was $655 per ton. And uh, two months later, now in June, it's $779 per ton. And that's comparable to back in 2019, it was $583 per ton. So everything's pretty bonkers right now in pricing. So just a heads up. Yes, Dan. So Zach, um, I don't have this year's budget in front of me. Th these were two of the roads that we had planned on, correct? Correct. Okay. Yes, Renee? Um, but just for the timing, you said they're going to start right away. Um, how long does it typically take? These are two roads that um, would impact. I know I will want to let the school know if, because uh, graduation is there. Uh, I don't know if it'll be done by then, by the 24th. Um, yeah, so I'm shooting for, well, the 16th to the 17th. So next okay. would be well into it it shouldn't take more than a half a day I'm, I'm hoping. oh okay great so providing that uh you guys approve this tonight um tomorrow morning we already have uh letters for uh the residents of lincoln and washington uh ready to be mailed out and then we'll also be handing out letters to uh to all the residents as well um i'll talk i'll notify the school talk to uh paul shankle about the rec center um what we're going to be doing out front there and some of the businesses, uh, because they do use Washington for parking. Um, so in the last 24 hours, there's been a lot of moving parts to kind of- whole village is under construction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion to uh, approve as uh, quoted. I'll second. I just had I had my hand up a second ago too. Just one oh, other question. Uh, yeah. um, uh, so Zach, the, we've just got the uh, the price sheet here. Essentially, I assume is there like a master service agreement or some other kind of contract somewhere that specifies um, how the work is to be performed and and other uh, parameters around this? Uh, yeah, this is all piggybacking off the of county contract, so I could print that okay. up for you guys and uh, submit it for Tuesday night's meeting if you'd like. I, I just wanted to make sure that we have something that is uh, in, in place that goes beyond uh, just the, the pricing here mostly. So if it's a, a county contract, I, I think that's okay. If you want to provide a copy, if that's easy, then I'd be happy to take a look at that too. Um, and as, as far as the uh, the pricing that you mentioned um, that is, is certainly going up across the board, um, I, I understand this is within uh, the, the budget for this fiscal year since we're starting out, but um, is there a, a contingency plan? And, and we don't have to have answers to this now, but in, in case we end up going over, um, I just want to make sure that we're prioritizing things so that, um, you know, the, the most important pieces are going to be get done. And, and if uh, price changes um, make it so that we have to push something out, then uh, I, I hope that we're being intentional about what we're doing up front. If, if you're asking me, um, I, I, I'm sure we'll, we'll fudge numbers somehow to make it all work. Um, you know, when I when I first presented this back uh, when we were putting the budget together, um, all of my numbers that I was uh, bringing forward to you guys, um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I put notes on everything, seeing that you know the numbers are are all over the place right now, and um, it's really hard to predict um, precisely what everything is going to cost. So, uh, you know, if we have to sacrifice some things, um, <clears throat> some other things that we had put on uh, the DPW wish list. To get road work done, then so be it. And this, um, I think, you know, I think some of you may recall when we did the budget, you know, we were recognizing that we had, you know, we're in an inflationary cycle. And so things were factored in in terms of bumping up some costs, you know. And I know, Dorothea, we had, you had really tried to address that as well. You know, we're trying to do the best, I think, like any other municipality. Yeah, we'll go along. And if something has to be changed, we'll change. That's all we can do with what's going on. Yeah, budget, budgets are dynamic, you know, you do the best you can. And, you know, this has been this has been in the hopper, Zach, for a while. So yep. yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Okay. Trustee Stetzer. Aye. Trustee Likett. Aye. Trustee Keating. Aye. Trustee Lanthier. Aye. Mayor Plummer. Aye. Motion passes.
Thank okay. you. Well, go forth in chip seal. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want me to stick around for uh, the rest of this meeting? If it's I, I, I think we're set, but thank thank you. Thanks. I may have a question. Oh, you okay? Then then stick around. I didn't realize that, Lily. I mean, okay, so we'll go right into member items then. <clears throat> Lily. Yes, I have two. Thank you. Um, first, uh, I would respectfully remind the board that several months ago, I stated for the record that I would no longer condone bullying behavior directed towards me. Therefore, I wish it to be placed on the record that I have been subjected to bullying behavior by a member of our board. This behavior included screaming, name calling, and multiple instances of words and language I find personally abhorrent. I was subjected to extreme pressure by a board member to take an action which was not within the scope of a trustee. As I have stated previously, I will not silently accept such behavior. And I am committed that going forward, such behavior will not go un unaddressed. It is my belief that I have consistently remained civil in any discourse, deliberation, discussion, and interaction as a trustee. My focus is to remain a dedicated public servant in spite of attempts to derail my efforts to move the business of the village forward by bullying behavior. And I thank you for your attention. My second item is regarding the Grand Creek where it uh, flows through Belton. And this is the part, um, Zach, that I will need your expertise. I was approached by a uh, Belton Avenue resident who has grave concerns about the erosion um, through her property and abutting village property. Those um, revetments were placed and uh, by the village. And so it is our responsibility uh, to deal with them. And I was wondering if you might have some uh, information that I could pass on to the resident uh, as she has expressed grave concerns uh, for public safety regarding where the erosion has occurred along the sidewalk. Uh, yes. Do you, know where the... that is? do you know where that is on? Do I know where it is? No, I'm asking Zach, do you, do you know where this location is? Uh, I'm assuming it is the property that uh, is on the corner of Boughton and South. Correct. Okay. Um, so yeah, we have been investigating that situation. Um, first, we're trying to sort out the first Grand Creek uh, Bank's restabilization project, which is uh, at 44 Rand. Um, and then I think we were going to start digging into uh, that section of Rand Creek. Um, and putting together a plan for that. But I think in our investigation so far, we came across an easement um, that was not signed off of, but I can't be certain on that. Yeah, I'd like to speak to that as well, because um, um, we, we had discussed this, I think, you know, actually last year, and um, we tried to reach out directly to the homeowner. Um, there were two phone calls and voicemails left, as I recall. Uh, from this office and also um, emails sent with no response. And we would love to have the homeowner, you know, call Village Hall and we can set things up with Zach and, and sort through things and what's needed to be done. But I, and Jeff, you may be able to speak to the, the easement in terms of where that was left off on that property. I, I think Zach was right, it was ne never signed. There were some that were never signed. I'm, I'm, I'm without really Looking yeah. at this specifically, I couldn't say for sure one way or the other. Well, well why don't we, you know, Lily, if you could, if you could ask the homeowner to, to contact Village Hall, that would be great. And let's sort through this. So you, who, which, would you uh, prefer that she just leave a message at Village Hall or to call Zach or? Either or, way, either way, whatever, whatever. Uh, I, I did leave you a message the other day, Zach, a voicemail. Uh, yeah, asking. So it's been a little hectic. I've been meaning to call you back. Okay. Early. I'll do it. Okay. Or, or have her call Village Hall then. Maybe it's easier if Zach's in the field, you know. Okay. Yeah, that might be a good starting point. How's that? Okay. Fair enough. She okay. would appreciate that. Oh, sure. That, that, that's great. Thanks for bringing that up. Yes, Dan. So to be clear, we had talked about this a bunch last year, but then we also talked about it during this year's budgeting cycle. And I believe we've set money aside to do it based on the amount of the other RAND, prop, the other RAND project. 
said, hey, it's probably going to look something like that. Um, that's that's what my memory says. Okay. Well, we, I think, yeah. you know, uh, I'd have to go back and look. I'm not sure it's so fresh in my memory, but no, thanks for that. Okay. Anything else, Lily? Any other member items? Not tonight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Justin? Sure. Just a, a couple of quick ones. Uh, first of all, I was wondering, um, the, the board adopted a, a resolution to have a, a composting bin at Village Hall from Impact Earth quite a while ago. I don't remember how many months ago it was. Just wondered if there's any update on that. Um, I, I guess there's some, some confusion, Justin. I thought you were arranging for that to be with the Village Hall. I because I didn't have the party to contact who's running the program. Yeah, I thought you were contact. You were going to work with the Legion. Weren't they going to use the composting bin? Yeah, the I Legion was the on thing board. I'm not sure who the company was coming in and doing it. I'm sorry if I'm confused because I thought you were handling the arrangements. I know there was some pricing and you were talking to them so much a bin. And if there's a name I need to call and set it up, I'll be happy to do that. I. Yeah, I, all of the information was was in the packet, and uh, I, I thought that was an agreement that um, I, I'm just curious. Did any other board members have the same impression that this is something that I was going to, to buy for the village, or um, I mean, it was it was a simple uh, monthly subscription basically, and and we had all the information in front of us. I was at that meeting um, and at the workshop. Um, and I don't recall. Um, I do remember there being uh, some clarification needed about which um, which one we were going to go with. We just to make sure. Um, but I don't remember who it was assigned to. So sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, we can look back. Why don't we leave it at this? Um, why don't Why don't we? You know, can you circle back with Dorothea and just make sure she has the accurate information, and we can sure. move it right yeah, I'll, forward. I'll okay? move forward that. Thank you. I, I wish somebody had told me before this is a blocker. <laughs> I've, I've asked uh, repeatedly an email, and, and no one has said what the uh, blocker was. So I'm glad that we. I this didn't result. receive an email regarding it, or I would have responded. I'm so sorry. I'm more than happy to set it up. I just need the info. Okay. Uh, great. I'll follow up with that. Thanks, Justin. Sure. <laughs> I didn't and, even know that wasn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been trying to uh, figure it out. But anyway, thank you. Um, and, and the second thing is that I, I wanted to say that I very much appreciate uh, Trustee Lanfear's statement. Um, and I agree with her. I have observed the, the same behavior at the recent meeting. Uh, it included um, uh, name calling and yelling, uh, which was unprofessional and inappropriate. This is something that has been occurring ever since I, I started observing the board. Um, and while some of us have become accustomed to this, that doesn't make it any more acceptable. Um, and I would urge the, the board to take action to uh, not, not censor or uh, you know, take away uh, speech rights from anybody, but um, to make a statement that this is something that we do not tolerate and this is not something that we condone and so far that has not happened and that has really resulted in a, a kind of a tacit acceptance of this this behavior on our board you know um i think i think you're raising you know an interesting point and as i recall last year um jeff you had um drafted for the board a code of conduct policy as i recall and maybe we should bring that back to the board and let's just take a look at that how does that sound that would be great thank you okay great okay uh, any other member items? Okay. Oh, yep, Dan. Uh, just the same member item as always. I am very much in favor of direct ongoing negotiation between our various boards and the developer for 75 Monroe to hopefully come for, uh, come together for the best possible solution for the people of this village. Okay, thank you. Yes, Dorothea. Um, we have a raised hand. I'm not sure if it was on a member item or it's oh, okay. for our public comment portion. Well, we can, I guess if no more member items, we can go into public comment or questions. All right, hold on here. Unless the person disappeared. Oh, there they are again. Okay. Mr. Sherwood, you're allowed to talk. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. This is or Ms. Sherwood. Sorry. Mr. Sherwood, but my name is Paula Sherwood, and I live at 27 Creek Ridge in Pittsford. I'd like to address the board uh, in regards to comments made by Trustee Land here and Trustee Leap Gibb. As a former village trustee for over 20 years, I still have a great love for all things Village of Pittsford 
even though I live just outside the village. I'm really saddened to observe the sorry state of village politics under this present administration. There should be no place for bullying, profanity, or character assassination by members of the village board to each other or to village residents. I commend Trustee Lanfear for her comments, and I suggest that a certain trustee apologize to the entire board and especially to Trustee Lanfear. Civility needs to be restored in the village government. Thank you. Thank you, Paula, very much. Okay, so is there another question or was there another comment? Looking right now. No, no more hands, no more comments in Q&A. Okay, um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Stetzer. Aye. Trustee Keating. Aye. Trustee Lanfear. Aye. Trustee Lightfoot. Aye. Mayor Plummer. Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Have a good evening. Good Thank night. you.